Mercedes Dream Car Collection got a new member, the new GLC Coupe. We have the opportunity to drive this car today and our test car is the 350D with 258 brake horsepower. The design of the GLC Coupe is based on the GLC, but the whole car looks a lot more dynamic. What we did with the GLC Coupe, we clearly made it a member of the Mercedes Coupe family. It starts here at the front. Here you find the beautiful diamond grille, which is typical for all our coupes. And then, of course, the shape of the vehicle. It starts with a beautiful long bonnet and continues into the roof. Up here, we're about 40 millimeters lower than with the GLC SUV. That makes the entire vehicle look a lot more dynamic on the road and more sporty. At the interior, the GLC offers the expected quality and plenty of room for a coupe-shaped car. At the interior, of course, we find a C-Class, but that means we have all the good materials, all the perfect craftsmanship and, very important, the newest technology. The seats offer, even for large people like me, enough space, good support and they're quite comfortable. To deliver the sporty drive that the look promises, the engineers put a lot of effort into the chassis. The standard setup of the chassis of the GLC Coupe is more sporty. And all variants of the chassis have a more direct steering. We have three different chassis setups. The base is already a bit more sporty. The next step is an air suspension, our air body control that you may know from the SUV. It offers different spring stages and variable damper settings. But the cream on the cake is our dynamic body control. It lowers the car by 50 millimeters and offers a really sporty drive. Overall, from comfort up to the Sport Plus program, pure driving pleasure. Mercedes offers eight different engines for the new GLC Coupe. There are four diesel and four petrol. The entrance model is the 200 diesel, which offers 136 brake horsepower. The top version is, of course, an AMG. It's the AMG 43 4MATIC, and that delivers 367 brake horsepower. On top, there is the 350E version, which is a plug-in hybrid, and that delivers 320 brake horsepower. Overall, the engineers succeeded to make the GLC Coupe very sporty without big compromises regarding to the comforts. Driving our GLC 350D Coupe with its 258 brake horsepower and the 9G Tronic on board is pure pleasure. The car sits well on the road and you can choose from different drive modes. If you use comfort, the car is already quite sporty. If you want a bit more, just use the sports mode. The car gets stiffer, a lot more agile. And then, if you want to have real fun, just use Sport Plus. Mercedes calls the new GLC Coupe the sports car within their SUV segment. And to be honest, the transformation from the SUV to this Coupe is a lot better than with a GLE. This car looks more sporty, more dynamic, and very important, it drives that way. I think with this GLC Coupe, Mercedes got the perfect car for this segment.